Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So you guys can probably already tell by the title, not my typical video. We're not going riding today, but I got a new new truck. So I figured you guys might want to see how I'm getting to the track these days. Or if you guys are new, usually uh, I make dirt bike videos on this channel. If you're into that kind of stuff, we might make some truck videos now. Go ahead and subscribe, but let me show you guys what I got. All right, so here it is. I just took delivery of this. It's a 2021 uh, Ford F-150 XL with the STX package, as you can see there. And then it's also up front. So I've been waiting for this for about a month. Um, I got it in the carbonized gray color. So it's, it's a gray metallic. Uh, and I also have the 18 inch sport wheels, which look really nice. Uh, as well as the 2.7 EcoBoost. It's a little dirty right now. I just got it yesterday and it was raining. So uh, there's like a bunch of water marks. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in and show you guys around. So since I got the STX package, uh, the sport cloth is an option when you have the STX package. Uh, definitely recommend. I think the sport cloth looks really nice for a cloth seat. I also got the center console instead of the the bench seat in the front. No, I, I definitely think the center console is much better than having the third seat. I never use the third seat. It's kind of unusable. And I use the console way more. And then we'll go ahead and look in the back. So another option I got, I should mention, is the vinyl floors. So it's just like plastic instead of the carpet. I think it's easier to clean. You know, we're always at the dirt bike track or whatnot. So it gets pretty dirty. So easy to vacuum. You can kind of just spray them out, wipe them out. And then third seat, sport cloth as well. There's nothing in the center, unfortunately, but no big deal. And then these fold up and you have a bunch of room back here. You can fold this one up. And then if we hop into the driver's seat, since this is just an XL, you uh, you can't get the big, I think it's a 12 inch screen. You still get the eight inch screen, which is really nice. And then I think this is like a four inch screen in the center. And then you have like this nice trim. It looks like almost like some wood or something. It's like a black, but it's, I don't know, it's textured, it looks nice. Everything's pretty nice in here. Okay guys, so I don't know how much the quality is gonna change. I just switched over to my GoPro uh, because I was recording on my phone, but I'm gonna turn on the truck and it's gonna connect. So I wanted to just show you guys. So again, I have an XL. You only get a key, you don't get the push to start. Go ahead, fire it up. Got a nice little display here. See, as you guys can see, uh, so it's asking me if I want to go back in the eco mode. You can see 89 miles. Uh, so like I said, yeah, I just got this. So it automatically connects my phone like most cars. Cool thing about this, it's not a, a feature in many cars or trucks as I know right now, but it's got the wire wireless Apple CarPlay. Most trucks, like the Chevys, I know, uh, in most cars, as of right now, you have to have your phone plugged in. This has the wireless CarPlay. I think that's a really nice feature. I kind of like that tech type stuff. Um, and just to let you guys know, this isn't going to be a full review. I just wanted to show you guys like the cool stuff. This, I'm not a car reviewer, but I figured you guys might want to see how I'm getting to the track these days. It's a new truck. So, so then you just have all your basic stuff on the wheel um lane keep assist which is really cool i never had that before keeps you in your lane cruise control these buttons this might be sound stupid but these buttons have a really nice feel i thought they looked kind of cheesy at first but you push them they're real smooth um so yeah so there's the screen auto stop start can turn it on and off whatnot your camera and then another cool feature is the drive modes right here so we're in eco now. I can go to normal. I can go tow haul. 
and then oh there's eco sport and then if you go the other way i got deep snow and sand and then mud and ruts and as you can see it's automatically turning it into four-wheel drive so that's pretty cool i like sports pretty cool i haven't I don't want to beat on the truck too much, but sport, it kind of, obviously it kind of revs out the gears and whatnot. Let me go ahead and show you guys the window sticker. I'm sure some of you might be curious. Uh, so total before discount, 46.6. I think I paid 45.1. Yeah, there it is, 45.1. So the options, let's see. So I have the STX package, which gets me the paint matched, like everything's paint matched plus these cool seats. Um, let's see. So STX sport cloth and then STX appearance package right here. Those are the two options I have. So the STX appearance package is about 1800 bucks. And then the sport cloth with the console is 295. And then, so the the EcoBoost is an option as well. It's not the stock motor, uh, so that's $1,100 option. And then I thought these wheels were a different option, but I guess they don't charge you for the wheels. I guess you could pick between these, or there's some other base wheels. But I definitely recommend these these 18 inch uh, wheels. They they look really nice. So as of right now, I'm not gonna do much to it. I was thinking maybe the two things I might do. I'm gonna go ahead and hop out, and I'll switch back to my phone actually. So here's the truck on the GoPro. It might look a little funny because the fish eye. But two things I was thinking about doing. One is I want to get rid of this an antenna. Not crazy about that. The wheels. I wasn't sure how the wheels were going to look. The wheels actually look really nice. I'm a big fan of these 18 inch sport sport wheels. So, but the other thing I was thinking about doing is maybe a leveling kit. And then down the road, I could put more aggressive tires. These tires do look pretty good though. They're not bad. But for now, I think definitely change that antenna and maybe a leveling kit. So yeah, that's the new rig to get to the track. If you guys want to have any questions about the truck or want to see something else, let me know down in the comments below. I'll definitely show you guys. Also, let me know down in the comments below if you guys would be interested in seeing more stuff on the truck. Like I said, I might do a leveling kit, maybe some wheels or tires i definitely want to change out the an antenna but if you guys are interested in seeing that stuff definitely let me know in the comments i'll post more on it uh, let me know what you guys think of the truck let me know if you think i should have got a chevy instead of a ford uh, but other than that thanks for watching guys if you're new make sure to subscribe smash that like button and i'll see you guys in the next one deuces